How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to take you behind the scenes at Smedding Performance and show you the entire build and dyno process for our 383 Extreme 450 horsepower, 470 torque engine package. Starting with the block that we use for this engine, it's our own Smedding Performance cast iron small block Chevy engine block. Because it's our own block, we made a few upgrades and improvements over the factory GM design. Starting with the most important, in my opinion, we went to a true priority main oiling system. A factory GM block is going to oil the camshaft first, and then the oil is going to travel down into the main journal for the crankshaft and connecting rods. We flipped it. Priority main means the mains get oil first, then the cam. We also made all of the cylinder bolt holes blind so they do not go into the water jacket below the block deck, before, below the deck surface. Again, factory blocks, those holes go straight through into coolant. You need to put a lot of thread sealant on the threads for these bolts. And sometimes, it's rare, but sometimes water can seep past and cause an internal coolant link, or it can get on those threads, rust them to the block, and will always create an issue when you go to loosen or you need to pull the heads off for some reason in the future. It also has a true hydraulic roller lifter design utilizing the factory thrust plate and spider assembly. And then of course on the bottom side of things we're running the conventional four bolt main on the center three caps like every four bolt main small block Chevy. And we did add about 10 to 15 pounds of iron in the critical areas to make this engine block a lot stronger. It's also stroker clearance cast in so we can run our 383 crankshaft without making any grinding needed to the block. It's cast in clearance. And it's a really nice piece. We're really proud of it. Of course, it's one piece rear main seal and also passenger side dipstick. To start off this engine build, I'm going to first install the camshaft. Then we'll drop in the crank and continue on with the rods and pistons. Here is the camshaft that we're going to run in our 383 Extreme. It's our own smetting grind. It's 231, 236 duration at 50, and again, utilizes that OE roller design. So we can just run a thrust plate on the engine and not have to worry about running the cam button, which can slowly wear out over time. So we'll drop the cam in first, then we'll move on to the crank, which is our Smetting 4340 forged steel 3.8 stroke crankshaft. Because everything in our 383 Extreme is 100% brand new, the engine block still has a true 4.000 bore diameter piston. So to make it a 383, we increase the stroke from the standard 3.75 to 3.800. So it's our own crank and it's our own connecting rod and piston package. So this is a 5140 forged steel 5.7 inch I-beam connecting rod with 8740 alloy connecting rod bolts. 12 point heads, and a hyperutectic piston. This motor has about 9.8 to 1 compression ratio. So, with all that out of the way, let's start putting some parts in this block and let's build an engine. Once we final install and final torque any part in the engine, we always take a blue paint marker then and mark the bolt. That way if I need to walk away to get a phone call or someone needs to walk away to go help somebody and they come back to the engine, they know exactly where they left off. They know these bolts have been torqued and there's no second guessing. So now that our crankshaft is installed, it spins nice and freely. It has the correct thrust we like to run. 
We're now going to install the timing set. Okay, moving along with our assembly. Timing set is now torqued down, final installed. Camshaft is ready to rock, so is the crank. So now we're going to lubricate all eight cylinders on this block and start installing the connecting rod and piston assemblies. And a little secret for you guys, the oil we use in our engine build is the Driven Racing GP1 break-in oil. And I think this stuff is either a 1040 or a 1540. Um, I don't think the weight matters too much for break-in oil, but it is the Driven GP1 break-in. So the block has already been fully deep cleaned, so I'm just giving all the cylinders a really generous liberal coating of oil. And then we'll get to stabbing the rods and pistons. All eight connecting rods are now final installed and torqued in the engine. So of course I'm gonna run back through it really quick, mark all of the bolts. And the next step in this build will be installing the oil pump. And then we will seal up this short block with the timing cover and the oil pan.
Okay, now that the valve train is fully adjusted and set on this 3 to 3 Extreme, we are now going to install the Edelbrock RPM air gap intake manifold. And there she is. This 383 Extreme is now complete, finished up, and ready to engine dyno. If your name happens to be Mark Pippin, then congratulations, sir. This is your personal engine. But our next stop now is headed to the engine dyno room, where we are going to break in this engine, get it tuned, and do our procedures. Quick tech tip. After you set your rocker arms, a good way to check if you got all of them adjusted correctly is to look down the whole row and the tops of these locks should all be the exact same height the whole way down the engine. If you look down, now the camera's not gonna focus correctly, but in reality, if you look down and you see one way higher or way lower than all the others, chances are you should probably give that guy a double check. But I have this engine complete, so let's head to the dyno. All right, we are now in the dyno room with our 383 Extreme that we're doing this video on. Everything is already hooked up. We're running a 670 CFM brawler carburetor with our HEI distributor. And the first thing we're gonna do is just get it fired up. It's got break-in oil in it right now. We'll get the initial timing set. We'll get the idle fuel mixture and idle speed set on the carburetor. And then we'll just slowly let it come up to temperature at an idle. And then once it's at full temperature, we'll then increase the RPM and start our break-in procedure. Now that we're up to temperature, you know, above 160, we're gonna bring the RPM up to 2,500 RPM, and we're gonna apply a load of about 100 foot-pounds of torque to simulate driving down the road. Then we're gonna set a timer for 20 minutes, and we'll let the engine sit here and sort of stress test it at 2,500 RPM, 100 foot-pounds of torque for 20 minutes. After that, we'll let the engine cool off, We'll do some drivability checkups with the engine, and then we'll start making our full power dyno hits. All right, there's our 20 minute timer. And there we go. So we're gonna do some final idle checks and tune up checks on the motor and then we'll get ready to make our full power hits.
right, Mark, here is the final dyno number for this 383 Extreme. It made 455 horse and 483 torque. And as you can see, the torque curve is just perfect. The entire curve, all the way until 5,900 RPM, we are above 400 pounds of torque. Super drivable, really, really happy with this engine combination. And now we're gonna let the engine cool down. We'll pull it off the dyno. We'll drain all the fluids out of the motor. We'll then retorque all of the critical fasteners that sometimes loosen up after the first big heat cycle. And then we'll give her a full detail. We'll finish putting all of Mark's options on the engine and I'll catch back up to you guys in just a little bit. Okay, this 383 Extreme is now all finished up and ready to go to its new home. You can see we have her here strapped down on the crate. This customer got it with a fuel pump and a flex plate it looks like along with the HEI distributor and that Holley 670 CFM vacuum secondary carburetor. So it is now ready to go to its new home and have some fun in the car. All right, we offer these engines with tons of different options. We can do full serpentine kits, transmission kits, fuel injection. If you want parts polished, different colors, if you need a special oil pan for your car, we can do it here at Smedding Performance. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you next time.